Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Tuesday, June 10. Close to a quarter inch of rain was registered in less than 10 minutes in the downtown area last night. And as of this morning, there was close to an inch of accumulated rain registered. The forecast calls for intermittent rain for the next 24 to 48 hours from the cloud cover of Tropical Storm Kevin, which at 3 p.m. local time was located approximately 445 miles to the southwest of the southernmost tip of the Baja Peninsula and is expected to maintain its west-northwestward trajectory over the next 48 hours, moving away from shore. At this time, there are no coastal watches or warnings. Local authorities have issued a warning for people to avoid driving as more rain is expected in the area. The Port Authority of Cabo San Lucas has closed the port to all vessels. In related news, derived from the intermittent rainfall that has occurred in the municipality of Los Cabos due to the passage of Tropical Storm Kevin along the Mexican Pacific, elements of the General Directorate of Public Services activated their protocol for the habilitation of roads affected by rain runoff. In this regard, the General Director of Public Services in Los Cabos, Roberto Sandoval Montaño, asserted that there is a protocol in place in the event of storms and hurricanes, in which the critical or most effective points have been identified, all of which are repaired with the appropriate machinery to allow vehicular passage as soon as possible. Roberto Sandoval remarked that in Cabo San Lucas, the Nicolás Tamaral Avenue is divided into two important parts where arroyos cross and are currently being cleared by heavy machinery to reestablish vehicular circulation. Same goes for Aguajitos Avenue and the junction that connects to the community of La Candelaria and the Leonardo Gastelum neighborhood, where a large number of people who work in the tourist areas live. Sandoval also explained that in San Jose del Cabo, work is being done on the arroyo that adjoins the San Jose Viejo neighborhood and crosses the Transpeninsular Highway, as well as on Forjadores Avenue. Roads that have been closed due to high water running on the arroyos and large amounts of debris being pushed by the currents. However, he said, these roads are being cleared in a quick and efficient fashion. Finally, Roberto Sandoval urged the population to stay home since the rains will continue and driving is hazardous under the current conditions. That is all that I have for you today. Have a good evening and remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Briggs and Claudia Vela.